Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to export a model with a base from CS model for 3D printing. So first of all, if I take my scan in ortho mode, save it, when I launch that scan, it's going to open up CS model software. Okay, so here's our model, and it's as simple as this. I go down to the export current model icon. I can export an STL or PLY, one arch at a time or both arches, with a base, without a base. Select where we want to export the file, name the file, and you'll see here it says you have the current license for an optimal conversion. If it doesn't say that, it's actually going to say uh, in red, you need a mesh converter suite license for an optimal conversion. What that means is you just don't have the conversion license activated. You can call our support to get help with that. Uh, a license does come automatically with CS model. At this point, all I do is hit run. If you export the file without the proper license, it will still export it, but it's going to be in a very, very low resolution and pretty much unusable for printing. Conversion's done. I select save. And you can see here it opens up my folder where I exported it to automatically. And here's my STL file, which I can double click to look at it. And it opens up in CS Mesh Viewer. So here's our model with the base. And you'll notice it's actually putting a bunch of extra data here, which you might not want when you print it out. So why did it create that, first of all? And how do we clean that up? So we can close out of Mesh Viewer. And you'll notice on my scan, we have this extra tissue here. So when it creates a base, it's basically filling in the edges of the scan with base material. So that's why it caused that little positive error, which again, you might not want. So how do we correct that? Well, one way is you can take that STL file and import it into Mesh Mixer, for example, and clean up the file that way. But if you wanted to avoid a lot of importing and exporting and exporting and importing and things like that, then you can clean it up prior to even opening up the file in CS model. So if you anticipate that you're going to print the model, then you can clean up the model nicely right in the CareStream software prior to saving it. So here's our scan post refinement, and you can see it's the same exact scan. And to clean up that model right in the CareStream software, you can do a little cutting. So I can use this free cut tool and just kind of cut long tissue to make the model nice and clean. And you can clean up more tissue on the lower if you wanted to. You can clean up the tissue. Let's say you want to clean up uh, lingual as well. and get rid of some of the palette. And you can also get rid of some of the edges in the posterior if you wanted to. So now we've got pretty much a nice clean model. Clean up this one little extra spot. So we have a much better model now. And at this point, save it just like normal. And now when I open up the file in CS model, 
you'll see our cleaner model here, which we can then go right to export. Let's just do the maxilla again with the base. We'll call it Bugs Bunny New. Select Run. And select Save. And here's our new STL with a much cleaner model to print. Compare that to our previous model. A lot less material is being printed on the new model as well. The height of the model is a lot less. It's just much better all around.